we're going to start talking about training a little bit, um, mm -hmm. an in, a topic important to, to sailors on the deck plates for sure. So, you know, you've recently talked about faster technical training. Mm -hmm. and I understand this is something that both of you are working on. What will that mean for sailors? What net effect will that have? And then also, what's driving that as a push? What's driving it is if you enlist in the Navy in six years, I ask myself, how many years do I get you at sea, if you will, or, or any of your shipmates? So you think about it, you say, I'm in, and you sign the papers, and they say, all right, come back in six, seven, eight, nine, ten months, I don't know, a year, who knows? And then you'll come into your military entry processing station at some point in the future. What am I doing with you before then? Am I giving you any kind of a basic course, basic mechanics, basic electricity, yeah, whatever, so that when you go to A school eventually, you're already kind of, you get some of the basics. A lot of our kids out there, they don't handle screwdrivers, wrenches, uh, you know, electrical things, and we're going to make them an electrician. You know, it's a different kind of person that we have in the, coming in the Navy today, but yet our A school and some of those are, as, as Admiral Moran said, they're attuned to a different part. So we need to use all of that time. We need to get through uh, basic training's about right. You know, recruit training center, that's, they've got that down pretty well. But A school, we got to do better. So now you get into the fleet, and, and I get you an A school and a C school. You're ready to go, and I'm assuming you're all lined up with the systems you're working with. When's the next time you get a major training? It's years. It's way too many years. And meanwhile, the, the equipment on your ship or your aircraft squadron is, is changing over. I need to get you more training in between that time, probably closer to the waterfront so that you're not gone from your command so long, or waiting between before, uh, when you're in between stations. We need to take advantage of the folks we have in there. We used to have a term we said, we want to accelerate your life. Well, <laughs> we ain't <laughs> accelerating it. We got to accelerate training to accelerate your life. So that's where we need to get in this. Yeah, I call this the, uh, the industrial model. You know, we bring in 40,000 sailors a year through, through the gates of Great Lakes to all of our, our uh, education institutions on the officer side. And um, we, we push them through only to get to a much smaller number at mm -hmm. the end of a career. And, and the numbers are pretty, pretty uh, staggering when I look at it. 13% of our folks that join the service stay to 20 years. That's a pretty small number. Uh, and and uh, it's pretty inefficient when you're bringing that many people in every year and you run into folks sitting around waiting for schools to start because we don't have capacities or we surge in the summer and the fall and then we lighten up in the winters. The system does not have the flexibility to do that. So CNO's asked us to look at how do we speed it up, mm -hmm. how, do we, how do we make it more efficient, and then how do we make sure we get the, only the necessary training to get that sailor to the waterfront, right. to the hangar bay, to the submarine and, and with the right training ready to, to start work. And then as they grow and as they demonstrate they want to commit to the Navy, we get them back in school. We get them refresher training. We allow their NECs to grow and their experience to grow and it's going to make them a better sailor. So that, that's the overarching vision. And we're going to start uh, six pilots starting this fall. Uh, six different ratings. We're going to start piloting this. You'll see our A and C school numbers go down by half in most of those rates. Uh, and that's a pretty significant uh, change to the way we're going to do it. But we have to invest in technology. We've got to bring that waterfront training alive, if you will. And that's, uh, that's something that resource sponsors and the TICOMs are working hard on today. So I'm pretty excited about this. There's a lot of potential here. We do it with every other weapons system. People aren't weapons, but they are the, the, uh, the asymmetric yeah. advantage. Why aren't we doing that with our personnel system? Well, we haven't but we are now. We're going to do this. The same incremental upgrades to, yes. to modernize yes. a, a sailor's readiness just like a ship or aircraft. That's right. So, so as Emma Moran mentioned, the good people down in Millington, the Naval Personnel Command, you know, they're trying to deliver the product, but they're, you know, they're on battleship technology here, and it's, mm -hmm. it just doesn't add up. It won't align. 